Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obit Potato, and here we check out the latest and the greatest strategy games each and every day of the week. Today we're checking out the Norp Apologue. I think that's how you say it. Anyway, let's jump into things and see what we have got in store. Uh, the premise for this one is pretty darned simple. Uh, this is kind of, I guess, like an incremental upgrade base builder sort of style game. Uh, we are going to deal with a very, very short tutorial, which will take of all of about 30 seconds. Uh, but we, we, we play as this little guy, I guess, but we don't even necessarily... Um, we don't even necessarily, uh, okay, great, thank you. Uh, we don't even necessarily, uh, in, play as the character, you know, we, we just, we just literally, we just literally manage the village. It's, it's very much a management game, um, in that perspective. Anyway, uh, there's this little rock over here. This is pretty important to what will become our civilization and our base. Uh, we click it, uh, shards come out, this is the main resource of the game, we can click it to, to get more, we can click it multiple times, we can hold down our, our mouse button, uh, great happy days. This is our little, this is our little colony, and, um, this is good, this is great, we're all very, very happy. However, uh, why I'm here is to build a flipping, is to build a flipping base and start, uh, and start upgrading, and indeed that is what we're gonna be doing, so let's, let's keep doing that. Anyway, yeah, these little, these little gorps are gonna go, uh, do a little animation thing, and I'm just going to keep hitting the rock all the while, which is grand. And then, boom, look at that. We've got our first building, and this is where things start to get funky. The shard stash, where all your shards where all your shards go. If you hover over it, you'll discover uh, that we can build more buildings from here. Uh, hover over a shard on the ground and left-click it. Yeah, so at the moment, uh, as is the way with these games, uh, we have the ability... We have the ability to move stuff around manually. That is to say that we are moving the shards uh, from where they from where they come out of this rock. There we go. We can still we can still mine more. We can mine as, as far as I'm aware, and functionally unlimited number of shards. However, uh, we need to get the shards into the shard stash, which is very very important because only then, once they're in the shard stash, are they going to go into our uh, into our deposit up at the top of the screen. I'm just going to finish up this little this little load over here because we're going to need it. Anyway, uh, things are going to become automated. Things are going to become optimized very, very shortly indeed. Uh, we can build two things, the Express Club or the Slam Club. Uh, we'll build the Express Club uh, because, quite simply, uh, the Express Club will employ runners. Now, runners are going to move the resources that we've got between the place that it drops next to the rock all the way over to the stash, which honestly, uh, I am completely fine with. Boom, we'll get one singular free runner, which is great. We've unlocked a few additional buildings and we can already see the runner uh, just running around at the bottom of the screen there, doing a grand old job. Okay, you're on your own now, good luck. That is the tutorial, so nothing too complicated. Anyway, uh, yeah, the runner is doing a pretty, it's doing a pretty decent job, a decent enough job, but it's still like one piece of, one piece of shard at a time. Um, what can we do about that? Well, we can get more runners, uh, but we don't have any additional gorps. Uh, or Norps, whatever the heck they're called. Uh, we also could increase their capacity uh, so they can pick up more shards on their uh, on their way across. That's quite that's quite interesting. Uh, I think we're going to start off with some housing. In fact, let's get two additional houses in the first instance. It's pretty important. Um, our housing capacity is up at the top here, so we have four additional housing capacity. But it takes a little while for these guys to be uh, to be sort of like recharged. So I'll just build them as and when they. They sort of come in and become available. But I really think that sort of prioritizing runners is pretty important at the moment anyway. There we go. It's still much more much more efficient and easy for me to sort of manually move things across, which I'm very, very happy to do. But I'm not going to be happy to do it forever. We're definitely going to get to the stage where it's not going to be worth my time. But that's fine. There we go. Get that all moved across. I, I am kind of worried that it's just... Yeah, it, it's a big journey. It's a big journey for the runners to go, but, you know, it is what it is. Right, that's more, that's more, more, more of those. Let's build some more housing. I do want to build a little bit more housing because I would like to build the Slam Club. And we're going to need two free Norps in order to, uh, in order to build the Slam Club. Very, very important. This is where we are going to be able to start automatic extraction of resources from the rock. So let's go and do it. Uh, it builds right over here, I do indeed believe. 
There we go. Fantastic. Uh, we have got the Slammer. Okay, so the Slammer, quite simply, uh, they use their heads. Uh, they understand that without pain, there can be no gain. Indeed. Right, let's spawn one, and boom, you end up knocking a little bit of rock. Not very far at all, but frankly, that's that's okay. It's the thought that counts. Um, there is a little bit of a cooldown uh, period, by the way. Uh, there is a little bit of a, yeah, there's a little bit of a, a, a cooldown period. They need to do a little... There we go. They need to do a little cooldown. They need to sort of run away. Anyway, there's some upgrades that we can get here as well. Uh, warm up. We need some shards for that. By jumping a few times, the slammers warm up and prepare themselves uh, to be on the receiving end of unspeakable pain. Plus one shard damage per jump performed. Okay, cool. Let's do it. That seems pretty good. There's also meditation. Slammers now meditate before slamming, resulting in shards that fly further. I mean... I like it. I like it a lot. Let's um, let's see if we can do it. I mean, it's still again, it's still much more efficient for me to move stuff and extract stuff from the from the rock. And in fact, I will maybe manually move another load. Ooh, there's something else that's appeared on the screen. We'll talk about that in just a second. But let's get let's get this sorted first. There we go. Just get everything across here. Uh, quite simply, there is a multiplier bar at the top of the screen. The more that I click, the more we get a multiplier. I think we can go all the way up to about two times. So that just gives us a little bit of extra bang for our buck, I believe, when our shards are cached in the shard uh, storage facility. There we go. There we go. And it's all me. There we go. Loads and loads of stuff. I'll just max that bar out. Look at that. I think actually it's more efficient for us to click uh, to click as well when we've got this two times multiplier up here. Modifies the damage capacity, etc. of your norps. Oh, so it's norps too. Nice. Nice. Anyway, uh, that's pretty good. We've got 82 We've got eighty-two cash. What else can we buy? There's a few other different things available. More housing. House of Shards. If you want to build more advanced buildings and gain access to new norps, the House of Shards has you covered. Uh, I'm interested. I'm very, very interested in that. I think we need to get... I think we need to get better capacity for our runners. I think that's really, really important. Ooh, we've unlocked speed as well. Uh, that is an insane amount of... That's an insane cost. Let's just get more capacity. I think more capacity is a pretty good thing to, a pretty good thing to do. Let's maybe see if we can try and also get some additional housing because I would quite like two additional slammers to start slamming. That seems pretty important. I mean, at the moment, I'm still doing the vast bulk of the work, but it'd be nice if we could move that across to sort of an automated process. So we'll do that. Uh, congrats, you're a slammer. What do we got? Warm up. Oh, yeah, we can get more jumps. We can buy more jumps for the slammers. That's cool. Meditation. We can now toggle that. It's acquired. We'll do that, and we'll get one more of these guys. Beautiful. Fantastic. Okay, so we got med. Oh, my goodness gracious me. Look at that distance. Holy cow. That's what I'm talking about. So ideally, ideally we shouldn't be seeing many rocks like falling just next to just next to the rock. It should all be it should all be pretty far. Here we go. Wow, that's that's some distance. Okay, that is going to be that's going to be a huge efficiency gain for the runners just in and of itself. That's really, really nice. Okay, we'll get the House of Shards in just a second. There we go. I'll just help a little bit. My goodness gracious me. That is, that is some distance. And now that we've got more of them as well, it really feels like the runners aren't having to go very far at all. From a pretty miserable job to a pretty decent job, honestly, guys. That seems, that seems pretty, that seems like a pretty good gig. Okay, there we go. Get it all moved. Nice. Okay, that's everything. That's everything sort of uh, away and sorted. Let's get House of Shards. Let's get more housing. More housing by two. I don't know where the House of Shards is going, but the accommodation is going to continue to pile up over there. Looks like the House of Shards is going to go over here. And oh my giddy ant, we have unlocked a lot of stuff. Okay, is that is that additional housing? That might be additional housing. We'll have to see. Okay, what do we got? An archery range? Not all Norps are eager to hit the rock with their heads. They put their heads together and came together with a neat new concept, the bow and arrow. Okay, Norp Propulsion Lab. I like that idea. I mean, we'll start with an archery range. I think starting with an archery range is very reasonable. I do... I do like the head hitters, though. The head hitters are pretty good. 
I really, really do. And I would like to, I'd like to get some bigger and better jumps. But I feel like I need to get the bow and arrow first. If I get the bow and arrow first, that's going to be... That's going to sort me out. That's going to sort me out for the long term. So that's good. We can still build more housing. We can still get increased capacity here. Uh, I don't think that I really care about either of those things right now. I'll see if I can move some stuff over manually. Sometimes helpful messages like this will appear. Okay, I'm doing great. Thank you. That's what I needed to hear. That's exactly what I needed to hear. Right, let's get the archery range. I presume that's going to be built over, over here. Nice. Okay, so how does this work? How does this work? Fire arrows, time to time to fire some fire. Loose some suit. Release the grease. Oh, I see. Okay, so this is actually it's like a one-time, it's a one-time, it's a one-time thing. It's not sort of constant arrows. That's fine. Uh let's get some more slammers if that's the case then, because we're gonna need slammers probably in perpetuity. So let's do that. And let's also let's also see if we can try and get like more more jumps, because I would like more cash coming out of this rock. Although I also feel like I need more runners now as well. Yeah, I've maybe gone a little bit too far down the down the slammer routes. Because now all of a sudden there's quite a lot of rock on the ground. I tell you what though, that's some distance. That is really, really nice. Okay, let's move a little bit manually. That's fine. Doesn't need to be all of it. We just need to get it sort of like roughly closer. Okay. Uh, more houses. And maybe capacity as well. Yeah, we'll get capacity. More houses are going to give us more runners. And then we're going to get additional capacity for the runners. Then we're going to get two additional runners. And then we are probably going to be good. Good for, good for I guess, uh, resource output for a little while. Probably also good for resource collection for a little while. More capacity? Sure, you know what? Let's get more capacity. That sounds like a good idea. This is a pretty significant amount of resources that we're going to be able to pick up here. I really do want to experiment with the archery range, though. And also the propulsion lab. Because that all seems pretty good. Oh, look! No, there is there's definitely arrows here. Yeah, so, like, they clearly do occasionally fire arrows. Nice. Okay, we've got some stats here. Oh yeah, so they do they definitely do fire arrows. They just don't fire fire arrows. That's fine. I'm very okay with this. Very, very, very okay with this. What is this? By increasing your collection rate, this bar will fill up. Uh, you accrue a talent point when it's full. Nice. Okay. So I guess this is my stats up in the top right hand corner. At the moment, we're generating most of our, our damage uh in the rock from slammers. But the arrows are the arrows are definitely increasing. Okay, what's what's the next sort of big priority? I'm not sure. It could be the propulsion lab. It could be the fire arrows. I do like the idea of fire arrows. I do like the idea of more slammers. I like the idea of more houses. I mean, I'm so... I've got so many shards. We need to get our collection rate up, though. That, that, is, that is absolutely imperative. That is absolutely imperative. Let's go fire arrows. Let's do it. Let's do it. Nice, 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 nice. Now we're talking. Okay, so fire is going to make a pretty significant difference there. That is good. Let's get some more housing. We can get some more housing pretty easily. So normal, nothing, just normal arrows. Time to fire some fire. Arrows deal 12 damage. Cause the rock to ignite. Fire damage is a range. Yeah, so the fire, the, the problem with the fire is that it spits out more shards in a sort of shorter area here. Is that something that I can live with? I mean, absolutely certainly. I just need to make sure that I'm absolutely boosting my number of runners and probably the capacity and probably the speed. If I'm able to do all of that, then we'll be completely fine. There we go. Yeah, collection is currently sitting at 402. I guess that's per minute, probably. I think that's a that's a decent place to be. Let's let's bump the capacity and the number of runners one more time. They are doing like quite long journeys now. But I think that we can I think that we can manage. I think that we can manage. These fire arrows are are definitely definitely having an impact, that's for sure. Build more housing. 
Uh, one more runner. Let's get one more runner. And then let's maybe save our additional... Yeah, save our additional runners. Or save our additional Norps for doing other stuff. Yeah, our collection is going up. Our collection rate is going up. It's just not particularly quick. Yeah, so fire definitely has its sort of upsides as well as downsides. Might want to get some more slammers to just ensure that we're able to get this bar right up to the top. Because I would really like that. That would be quite nice. Although, to be fair, I'm probably just gonna... I'm probably gonna get it. I'm probably gonna get it. There we go. Get that bar reasonably soon. That would make me very happy indeed. Come on! I think we did it. I think we did it. We absolutely did it. Look at that. Accrued talent points, which enable extremely powerful enhancements. Hold to prestige. Prestige can reset your progress, but gives you advantage, but gives you access to accrued talent points. Interesting to note. Okay. Um, we can check out our talent points over here, if I'm not mistaken. Slammers will not be ridiculed. I mean, is there I guess it's this way? Let's go hiking, the mountaineer. Mountaineers bring a friend when they depart. The cafe? Runners evaluate if they should work harder. If total collection per minute is less than 50% of damage, runners get plus 20% or plus 20 increased capacity. That's pretty huge. That's pretty huge. Wow. So maybe if from that perspective, it is worth prestiging. I think we need to do a little bit more in this run before we prestige, though. I got to be honest. That is that is nice. So, but there are definitely like a lot of like very, very interesting interesting talent upgrades here that we can that we can work through i'm interested in that a lot ice arrows rock freezes um you know what no let's not do that let's get um what do we got norp scientists study the rock and the shards sure let's do analysis unit that sounds fine to me gun versus rock unlocks norps with expensive guns i mean i'm pretty interested in that I am pretty interested in that. Right, so what do we got here? Weak spot discovery. We need two Norps in order to do that. The rock is weak spot. So weak spot appears every two minutes. Weak spots can be clicked for 300, 300 shard damage. Let's do it. Okay. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Uh, that is mega value. That is absolutely insane value. Holy cow. Okay, so that's, I guess, the little the little weak spot timer under there. Uh, that's insane. That's insane. Our collection rate is going to go absolutely bonkers, and we're definitely going to get another prestige point. So weak spot frequency, yes. I would like that. I would like that a lot. But you know what? That's that's fine. Um, holy cow. That, that quite literally dwarfed everything that I could possibly have done. Give me more runners. Give him more capacity. Two more houses. Wowzers. I cannot believe that. Look at the... That's just crazy. That is just crazy. Every two minutes. I mean, that's not even that... That's not even that long of a cooldown. Okay. Archery range seems okay, but, like, nothing in comparison to, to this. This seems really, really useful. Uh, Coca Cafe. Uh, Norps can gather and enjoy some... Coca. Mountaineers climb the pile and throw shards for the runners to pick up. That seems pretty useful. Let's get that. Let's get that. Sure, let's do it. I'm I'm just keeping an eye on this weak spot, honestly, because I, I feel like it's going to happen. Okay, uh, where'd the mountaineer end up going? Over here? Okay, I need a mountaineer. I need a few, a few of them, probably. I mean, we are starting to get, like, a really, really big pile here now, which is quite nice. I guess the Mountaineers are going to allow us to... They won't climb the pile. That's fine. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, get two Mountaineers. Improve digging. We need three Norps. Uh, I can do that. And digging width as well. Let's, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Oh, I see. Okay, so it was four. It was four weak spots that we had initially, and now we only have like one weak spot. I see. I see. I see. Either way, okay. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. So they're climbing. 
That's actually a pretty significant amount of resource that they're able to move. That's pretty good. Okay, so I, I rate Mountaineers. That's nice. Let's see if we can try and get someone else. Let's see if we can try and get the Propulsion Lab. And then we're going to see if we can try and get the Gun V Rock, I think. Okay, but so far, so good. I like the Mountaineers. They're, they're pretty cool. They are really, really cool. Right. We can get a Bomber. And that is for a jetpack, flies high, then falls onto the rock. Okay, so that is another way that we can just, like, extract more resources. Geet Protocol. Expedited Express Throw. Okay, I like it. I like the sound of it. Combo Chance and Robotics. There's a lot of stuff going on here. I like Mountaineers. I really, really do like Mountaineers. That's pretty cool. Uh, the runners, though, are doing you know the vast bulk of the the vast bulk of the work here. Fire is giving us a lot of a lot of cash. Let's see, let's see how the bombers do, shall we? Ultra boost, 150k. That's a little bit much. We're gonna get one more, I think. Yeah, get one more. That's good. And then we need to try and fill up our collection our collection meter again so that we can try and prestige. Okay. Ice arrows? Sure. Let's see if we can try and go for ice arrows. I have no idea how ice arrows are going to measure up versus regular stuff. Okay. Four second duration. Ice shatters for two times the damage dealt whilst the rock was frozen. Additional ice arrows do not increase the duration, but instead deal double damage. After shattering, the rock is immune to ice arrows for four seconds. Fire shatters ice immediately, but does not prevent ice buildup. This is the longest tooltip in the game. Okay. I did not understand. I did not understand that. I mean, is it seems good. I'll take the I'll take the weak point as well. I mean, the weak point discovery seems like absolutely amazing. Also, that's there we go. What are we doing at the moment? We're collecting about 1.3. We're outputting about 1.6 worth of damage, or we have outputted 1.6. So there's clearly a little bit more collection that needs to be done. There we go. Uh, oh yeah, I'd like to get the geek protocol, but I'm a little bit. A little bit short of cash. That's fine. Mountaineers. Honestly, maybe the Mountaineers. Maybe the Mountaineers is what we need. Oh, I, I need to be shattering the ice, I think. Building unlocked robotics. And also upgrade unlocked combo chance. Combo chance here. So what does that do? Thanks to the guys over at the propulsion lab, Slammers can be outfitted with tiny high impulse jetpacks. Uh, yes. Chance to combo. Let's do it. Let's do it twice. Uh, let's also give him more jumps. Why not? There we go. Okay, that's good. So we're breaking the ice. I mean, ice honestly seems a little bit... A little bit meh, to be honest. I'm going to build some more housing as soon as I possibly can. Uh, I'm also going to build the robotics lab. Drones? Drones deliver shards but eat 60% of them. I mean, oof. That seems a little bit of a shame. I mean, a shame. I mean, it's, you know, the cost of doing business, I suppose, isn't it? Eh, it does look good. does look good. Arrows are... I mean, to be fair, I was slagging the arrows, but the arrows are doing a, dealing a pretty significant amount of damage now. But I think that, honestly, more slammers would be, would be good. Uh, do we need more mountaineers? I don't particularly care about mountaineers. Weak spot frequency? I mean, this has got to be... This has got to be the best upgrade in the game, right? That's maybe an exaggeration because I don't know, but um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Here we go. Yeah, the collection's now at 1.6. Beautiful. My goodness gracious me. It's just remarkable. It's absolutely remarkable how much, uh, how much we can get here. This is fantastic. Uh, we should be able to hit our next collection limit, our next uh, prestige point. What do I need to get? I need to get more houses. I need to get more houses. Do I get more drones? Or do I get drones in the first instance? I, I feel like I don't. I feel like I just need more runners. I get more runners. I feel like if I get more runners, then I sort of put myself in a position. I put myself in a position where I can't force myself to get more... Uh, more output. More rock output. And honestly, I think that's a position that I like to be in. Here we go. Keep Keep clicking. Do I need to maybe bump up the capability of these Mountaineers a little bit? Improve digging? Yeah. Mountaineers double the amount that they're able to dig? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I need to get one more. 
house in order to make that happen. But that's fine. I'd quite like to get a few more prestige points again before we before we uh, level up. Although I feel like we are we are at the upper limits. I mean, I can get capacity, can't I? I want to get mountaineers. Let's get mountaineers first. I feel like I'm at the upper limit of. There we go. Beautiful. I'm at the upper limit of what I can really be collecting with my current setup. Like this is, it's just too far for the, it's just too far for these guys to go. So we either need to move all of the resources with the Mountaineers. We need to get Mountaineers to be better, or we need to just get more runners, or we need to do, you know, increased runner capacity, something like that, because we're just shy of that sort of collection rate limit there. Either way, let's get improved digging. And that'll probably be that, I suppose. Slammers, anything with the slammers? No, not really. Although they are good. Maybe one more mountaineer? Sure, give me one more mountaineer. That's fine. Uh, jetpack guys, I mean, they're okay. Jetpack guys are fine. The slammers are still... Slammers are still the best up, of course, until we get the Winter Wonderland uh, event. Which is fantastic. It's really, really good. I like it a lot. There we go. I'm doing my part. I'm helping out. Might make a marginal difference. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. Fantastic. Okay. That is a third. That is a third prestige point. Are we likely to get more than that? Capacity. I'll take additional capacity. I'd like speed. Increases speed by one pixel per second. See, that doesn't seem like much, but... I guess when you add it up over everybody, it's probably like a pretty significant, a pretty significant amount. Yeah, I, I just don't know how much of an impact the Mountaineers are actually having. It, it feels, it feels good enough to be justified, but I'm just not sure, you know? I'm just not sure. There we go. Keep going, keep going. There we go. Nice. Still not sold about the arrows. The ice arrows, they, they, you know, they do a decent amount, but frankly, could I, could I care less? I mean, I probably could care a little bit less. It's not a big deal. Right, let's get speed boost. Excellent. We got break time. Delivery rush as well. So the fragile runners are in a constant state of fatigue. Now they hear that mountaineers can take breaks. Maybe the runners deserve a break too. Runners immediately take a break until the next compression event. When they continue their work, they gain a two times increase to their carrying speed. That seems pretty worthwhile. Also, that has completely changed the game. That has absolutely completely changed the game. Also, if I wait until this is frozen and then I pop the weak spot, I think that might give me a... I think that might give me a mega load. I think that's a mega load. I think that's a mega load. It definitely feels like a lot. Like there's a big frozen bonus that we get there. So that might be enough to get us our that might be enough to get us our uh, our next prestige point, which would be pretty freaking fantastic. Okay. More housing. We're going to need more housing like regardless of what we do. There we go. Pop this. Fantastic. Excellent. We're close. We're close. We're close. We're close. Just unfortunately not close enough, you know? That's the that's the issue. That's the issue that we need to that we need to deal with. That is the issue that we need to deal with. Okay. Uh right. Slammers, maybe more slammers. Slammers seem a little bit basic at this stage of the game, don't they? Another mountaineer, another bomber, maybe another bomber, you know. Sure, let's get two, let's get two further, let's get two further bombers. I don't know how far they go, really, generally, but we'll give that a shot. This is, yeah, this is bad. I mean, we don't have, we don't have enough, we don't have enough resources coming out of here now. There we go. That's more like it. But again, that's not that's not enough. That's not enough. We need we need more. We need way more. 
Uh, increased capacity. We don't. Our, our issue is not collection speed. It's actually production of re, it's production of shards right now. I think. Combo chance. Mm, don't really care about combo chance. I'd quite like to get. You know what I'd quite like to get? I'd quite like to get the gun versus rock. The trial of the century. Yeah, I feel like we should. I feel like we should see how good that is. There we go. There's, the Mountaineers have got nothing to do. Look at that, they're literally just walking around doing nothing. Nothing at all. That's embarrassing. Yeah, okay. Let's let's see if we can try and get let's see if we can try and get the uh the guns. We're gonna have to go we're gonna have to go for this. Come on, give me my next give me my next big uh big load. That'll be nice. Okay, gun versus rock. Yeah, we need 10k. We've got a we've got a norp, gorp, norp thing. We're ready for it. We're ready for it. We just need 10k. Okay, I'll be back when I have 10k. Okay, don't quite have 10k. However, 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 we're quite close, and we're about to have two weak spots here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait until the ice arrows, the ice arrows land. We end up icing this bad boy up. We click them both, and then we have a truly ridiculous explosion. Look at that. Okay, mountaineers, get your backsides, get your backsides into gear. Let's see what we can do here, because we're gonna hit 10k pretty quickly, which is gonna be quite nice. And actually, we might even hit our, we might even hit our collection objective. As crazy as that sounds. Either way, that's a that's a nice way of doing it, I think. Comboing the ice arrows with the weak points. That's pretty sick. There we go. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. There we go. Mountaineers, start chucking snow. Or shards. Whatever it is. It does look quite festive, doesn't it? It really does. Very festive game. Right. Let's get this. Let's get this gun versus. Gun versus rock situation going, and hope that that makes a transformative difference to the amount of uh, cash that we're able to collect. There we go. Gun versus rock. Where do we, where do we build it? Over here. Okay, love to see it. Rifle Norp. What could go wrong? Shoot bullets that deal five shard damage with a range of zero to ten. Bullets deal raw damage, which means they're not affected by the multiplier. Bullets double their damage on compression events. I mean, that seems okay. It doesn't seem great. The fact that it's not sort of multiplier bonus is a little bit frustrating, but I guess it's it's pretty good. I mean, if it costs us 10k, you've got to imagine that it would probably be pretty decent. If I could get to that fourth... If I could get to that fourth point, I would be very, very happy. That fourth prestige point. That'd be really, really nice. Okay. Here we go. 10k for the next one. We can get a grenade launcher for 10k as well. I guess let's wait and see what happens here. There we go. Big explosion. Fantastic. He's literally just shooting it. Okay. I mean... <laughs> That's fine, I guess. That's fine. We're fine with that. And he just slowly and slowly gets further and further away. I mean, it's a, it's, it's basically the same level as my clicks, to be honest. So, I mean, it's not a tremendous amount. We're still, like, outputting, we're still damaging less than we are collecting, which is fine. That's an okay, that's an okay place to be. I think we're fine with that. Uh, you know, I am, I am optimistic that we can get, that we can get prestige point level four. I say that, though. Let's get... Four jumps, see if we can try and go further. Combo chance, maybe, something like that. What else do we need? We don't have drones yet. Anything else that we can get here? Weak spot frequency. Honestly, if I had to do... If I had if I had to do it again, which I do, I think we'd go for weak spot frequency, because it's just so flippin' good, isn't it? Okay, I think we just prestige, to be honest. I mean, we can... 
probably get a little bit more, but I, I think we're just gonna, I think we're just gonna prestige for the sake of, uh, for the sake of exploring it. Oh, sure, just do one more. One more explosion of the rock. Why the heck not? It was iced as well, so it feels pretty good. Um, right, let's prestige. Let's do it. Let's see. Right. Du, 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 du. Where's the talent stone? Yes. So, uh, what, what, what would I like to get? What would I like to get? Um, what would I like to get? What would I like to get? Right, okay. Prestige for the first time. Let's immediately start off, and then let's have a little look-see. So, I have three points. Strength in numbers. Increase the multiplier by 0 0.1 for every four employed NORPs. That seems pretty good. That seems pretty good. Fire damage now generates shards that fly farther, almost all the way to the stash. That seems really good. Bullets, time shift delivery, let's go hiking. I mean, mountaineers are fine, but probably like not that necessary. Extra housing, there can never be enough housing. Every seventh housing, housing you build, builds another for free. That's pretty good. Ignite the jetpacks, the power of the sun in the palm of your hand. Fire deals 2.5 damage, fire damage occurs faster. You won't believe what it's hiding. Hits by grenades reduce the time until the next weak spot. I mean, we got to try that. That seems pretty good. We'll try that one as well. And then we'll try the housing. That seems pretty... That seems pretty good. Okay. We'll do that. I increase the multiple... Yeah, all right. We got a lot of... We got a lot of good stuff here. We got a lot of good stuff here. Okay. Let's get this... Let's get this rolled into the stash. And we'll build the runners as quickly as we possibly can. There we go. Uh, the express. Auto house. Yeah, I kind of like the idea of auto housing. Sure, let's do that. Right, let's get runners. There we go. And we'll get as many as we possibly can. Man, I, I flipping love this. This is fantastic. What a great, what a great little concept for a game, eh? What a great little concept for a game. Okay, we are spending all of our shards on houses, but that's fine. Because we need them. Frankly. There we go. Okay, I can I can already tell. Auto house needs to be probably turned off because we're gonna need to save up. At least for a little while. To get the resources that we need. Right. Give me the slam club. I'll build that now. I'll build one more runner. As soon as I can, then we'll probably save up to get capacity. I've already got the two times uh, the two point two. Actually, it's a uh, it's slightly better than that, slightly better than normal. Nice. And the slam club. Yep, yeah, we'll get two slammers trained up pretty much immediately, as quickly as we possibly can. Anyway, meditation. Let's do meditation. The further, the better, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. We like this. We like this. What else do we have? Weak spots. Yeah, I mean, weak spots... Weak spots is good, but I think that we're maybe gonna need, uh... We're maybe gonna need... Let's get more capacity, more of those. Get more housing soon. Yeah, I, I think that we're probably not gonna be, like... I mean, this is, like, late... Not late game stuff, but it's more... It's more advanced than... Than where we're at presently. Which is slightly problematic. But not necessarily the end of the world, is it? Jumps and slammers. Let's do it. Okay, still easier for me to move resources manually, probably. But only marginally. Okay. Housing over there. And we'll get... We'll get... Another capacity upgrade, which is pretty nice. Honestly, when these guys got the double speed boost, or the increased speed boost, whatever it was, that was pretty incredible. I, 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 that was, that felt really, really substantial. That felt really, really good to do. Already it feels like we're just faster. I presume it's because of that 0.5 multiplier, which is now, which just feels really, really good. 
House of Shards, sure, let's get that. Let's get another runner. Let's get more slammers. You can increase the size of the cursor and the options. Okay, that's cool. Nice to know. And then we get everything here. I mean, the Rock Analysis Cafe is... Or the Rock Analysis Lab, even. Not the Rock Analysis Cafe. That would be something else, wouldn't it? Uh, the Rock Analysis Lab is probably the... It's just got to be the best. It's got to be the best. I would really like to... I would really like to work towards, you know, getting more upgrades like uh, like that one, you know, the explosive one. That would be pretty darn good. Okay. Move everything across here. 2.6 times multiplier. That's really, really nice. Man, that's good. That is good. That is good. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Nice. Okay, uh, I mean, I could do this all day, and you probably can do this all day, ladies and gents. Uh, this is a fantastic, great new little game. Uh, completely passed me by when it released a couple of days ago, uh, but it is flipping good. It is so flipping good, and I feel like we barely scratched the surface of it. Uh, yeah, definitely, definitely want to check out if you're interested in this style of game, uh, which is... It's just, it's just good. It's just good. It's just good. It's just good. Great fun. I like it a lot. Anyway, thank you ever so much for watching. Check out the Patreon link down below in the description. If indeed you're interested in helping make videos like this possible, I'll catch you next time. Bye.